Hello, welcome to another video. We will find a power series for the function f of x is 2x cubed of arctan of x squared. Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to find the center of convergence, the interval of convergence, and the radius of convergence. But now I'm just going to focus on how to find the power series for this function. Now this one is special because it is not a rational function and it involves uh, trigonometry. If it was sine or cosine, well, we could have the memorized power series for it, or even if it was tangent, but this is arc tangent, so we can't do anything other than to go, is there any form of arc tangent that is a rational expression? Well, if you recall your pre-calc, not pre-calc, your calculus one, the derivative of arctan is 1 over 1 plus x squared, if you remember. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to say, okay, we don't know how to deal with this, but we're going to deal with the derivative. If we can express the derivative as a power series, then we can easily integrate that power series, and then we get the power series for this actual thing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say, recall that the derivative of, let's say, arctan, let's use t, or let's just say, let's, let's do arctan t. The derivative of arctan t is simply 1 over 1 plus t squared. If you take the derivative of this, it's going to be 1 over 1 plus t squared, right? Now, with that understanding, we know we can write this as a power series, right? Because this can easily be treated as 1 over 1 minus negative t squared. Do you see that? And we know from our understanding of power series that if you can write an expression like this, 1 over 1 minus something, then this something is basically, this is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of this negative t squared raised to power n. This is the power series for any expression that looks like this. Now, if you want to see the entire detail, you might watch the video I'm going to put in the description for this one, because that's where the rationale behind this is, but the focus is how to use the derivative of arctan to actually find the power series for arctan. So now this is what we have. Let's simplify this. This is going to be the same thing as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, if we separate this, we're going to end up with negative 1 raised to power n and t to the power 2n. So what we have right now is the derivative of arctan, but we actually want to get the power series for arctan, not the derivative of it. We want the power series for arctan, not the power series for the derivative of arctan. Okay, so how do we go from derivative back to the function? We take the integral. So we're going to say that arctan t, look, arctan of t will definitely be the integral of this power series, which is going to be the integral from n equals 0 to infinity of this guy, negative 1 raised to power n times t to the 2n dt. Okay, we have to, do, we have to um, integrate now with respect to t. Don't worry, I'm going to switch everything back to x. But as you can see, it looks like our t is going to be replaced by x squared. That's the old thing. Now, what should you do with this? Don't worry about this. Just leave it. Okay, this is already a polynomial. So remember, the point of a power series is to convert something that's not a polynomial into a polynomial because polynomials are easy to deal with. You can multiply, divide, add, or subtract. Okay, so this is already in the form of a polynomial, but this is not a polynomial, and that's what we need to work on. So at this point, we're going to say the integral here is, let's go here. This is equal to, now we can move this integral all the way in here, because you see, this does not contain t, so it stays. So we can just say this is the integral 
from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 raised to power n, and then we take the integral of t to the 2n um, dt. So what will that answer be? Well, our answer is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 raised to power n, and the integral of this is going to be t to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 plus c. Nice. And what we have just obtained is octan of t. So what will c be? Well, we can just plug, remember c is a constant, so it doesn't matter what t is, this will not change. So let's just find a nice value of t. Remember that if we plug in, let's say t equals zero, because actually t equals zero is the center of convergence. If you, if you, if you watch the other video, you'll see it, but you should know, because this t doesn't have anything being subtracted or added, subtracted from or added to it, so it's just t. So the center of convergence is t equals zero, or is zero. If we plug in zero here, what is octane zero? It's zero. So you have zero. If we plug in zero here, everything here becomes zero. So zero equals zero plus c. That means c equals zero. So I'm just going to write here, just say c is equal to zero. Okay? So we don't need to keep carrying the c around. It's gone. So we can say, therefore, if you write the arctan of x, you can write it as a polynomial, which when you add all the terms together, that is, if you start from 1, from the very first term, you start from 0 rather, um, let's put this on top of the 2n plus 1, okay? So it's going to be negative 1 raised to power n over 2n plus 1 times x raised to power 2n plus 1. So this is how you write the power series for arctan x. But what we have is not arctan x, it is arctan x squared. Just replace x with x squared. That's the beauty of polynomials, okay? So we can say, therefore, we go here, 2x cubed times the arctan of x squared can be written as 2x cubed multiplied by this is octan of x squared. Well, we're going to replace x with x squared. So it's going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of, we have negative 1 over n divided by 2n plus 1. And this now is replaced by x squared. Okay? Raised to power 2n plus 1. See, the only thing I've modified is this. I just changed the x to x squared. Okay, it's just like when they say, what is f of x? You say f of x is 2, 2x. What is f of x squared? It's going to be 2x squared. You just replace the x, okay? So this is like composition of functions. And what do we do here? You notice that this guy can go in here. Everything can go back inside now that we've simplified it. So it's going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. When this 2 goes in here, I think it just sits, yeah, it just sits on top like that. So we're going to write it as, let's find a nice way to write this. Let's write it as, um, let's write the constant first. So let's make it 2 divided by 2n plus 1. And then I'm going to write this. It's going to be negative 1 raised to power n. And then, some people like to put this first, it doesn't matter. And then when this x cubed goes to join this, it's going to become, let's write, x cubed times x raised to power 4n plus 2. Okay, I distributed that. And now I need to add this to this so that the final answer will be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 over 2n plus 1, and then I have negative 1 in parentheses raised to power n multiplied by x raised to power 4n plus 5. This is the power series for 2x squared, 2x cubed rather, arctan of x squared. 
I hope this was helpful. And no matter how complicated, this is what you should do and you will find your way to the answer. Hope this video was helpful. Give it a like, leave a comment in the comment section and be subscribed if you're not. See you in the next video. Never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.